so how do I start with Node.js after I install it? Once we have installed Node.js, let's build our first web server. Create a file named app.js containing the following content. So we're going to go to Visual Studio Code. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I already have the file here. Um, I can just delete it and do it again. So we click here, new file. In order to create a new file, it's gonna and it's gonna be app.js. So okay, create a file name app.js containing the following contents. So we're gonna this time we're gonna type it in. So we are start typing const. Uh, HTTP is a sign require HTTP okay HTTP is a sign is a sign require and as you can see um, it gives it gives us a lot of options for example request uh, animation frame etc so HTTP uh, and then and send a semicolon Cons HTTP require require HTTP next line is gonna be cons host name okay cons host name is a sign open single quotes and it's gonna be one twenty seven point zero point zero point one okay next line is gonna be uh, cons port it's gonna be 3000 we're gonna be in the port 3000 so we go to line number six that is gonna be the server so it's gonna be con server it's assigned HTTP that creates server so it's gonna be cons con server is assigned to HTTP HTTP that creates server. So if I press point, you can see we have a bunch of methods, agents, client. Uh, this is the one create server. So create server, open parentheses. Uh, inside the parentheses, we're gonna have request and response. So request comma response. Okay, we're gonna have the the arrow. Okay, that was only one. The the arrow sign. Then we're gonna open curly braces, and we're gonna type in res that status res that status code status. See. This is the option and we can put just rest that and it's gonna give us all the options that we can choose from so we want the s from a status status code and then we type in inside single quotes 200 uh, no it was just like that yeah. 200 res status code is assigned 200 okay semicolon then res set header so we go res that set and then the number two set header open parentheses content type okay inside single quotes content hyphen type content content type uh, well, with uppercase letter outside of the single quotes comma space open single quotes again and lowercase letters text slash pla plain so we're gonna go text slash plain again semicolon next line res dot n open open parent 
open parentheses, open single quotes, and then we can put hello, 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 everybody, <laughs> hello, everybody. Uh, or you can type in hello world. So we end up with a semicolon, then we go outside of the semicolon, we go outside of the curly brace outside of this the parentheses semicolon we go to number 12 and we go to server that listen we type in server that listen see you have all these options here server that listen and we're gonna listen for the port comma host name here comma space parentheses space um, right arrow you can uh, some people call it fight right <laughs> arrow uh, we open again curly braces and we put console console that log open parentheses now back text no single quotes but back text server is running server running okay at http uh, colon double slash now dollar sign open por open curly braces now host name okay then we go colon again dollar sign curly braces and then we type in port uh, outside of the curly braces we end up we we type in a, a slash and yeah outside of the parentheses semicolon and that should be it we can put a semicolon outside and then we can save it with control plus s if you're in a windows so i save it okay now in order to run it you, you need to type in node app.js let me see if it was like that okay now run your web server using node app.js visit http colon uh, double slash localhost colon 3000 and you will see a message saying hello world and in our case will be hello everybody so let's we type it in, we press enter. Server running in uh, 127.0.0.1 at port 3000. So let's uh, let's go here. We can just hover over this link and press Control and then press uh, type in your your pad. And here it says yeah, hello everybody. We can make it a little bigger. So we also can go to localhost, localhost 3000, and yeah, the same thing. Uh, yeah. So refer to the introduction to Node.js for more comprehensive guide to getting started with Node.js. So that's how we start with Node.js after installing it. And again, in order to see what version of Node you have, you just type in Node space hyphen b make sure you also have mp npm okay so and another things i wanted to talk about it, it was the dependencies uh, and the dependencies there are several dependencies that node.js relies on to work the way it does so we have the libraries the tools in the libraries we have the V8, the Libuf, I think that is how you pronounce it, LL, HTTP, C, A, ARES, uh, Open, SSL, Slip, and tools you have again NPM, so the one that I show you here, uh, I'll make it a little bigger, okay, my I have the version 8.19.3. So we also have the jeep, we have the gtest, 
um, here are more information uh, libraries the v8 the v8 library provides node.js with a javascript engine which node.js controls via the v8 c++ api v8 is maintained by google for use in chrome so you have also the documentation you can read it here you have a bunch of information uh, you have the lib uh, libuf another important dependency is libuf uh, a c library that is used to abstract non blocking i slash o operations to a consistent interface across all supported platforms it provides mechanisms to handle file systems dns network child processes pipes signal handling polling and streaming it also includes a thread pool for offloading work for some things that can be done asynchronously at the operating system level and asynchronous synchronous there is a term that you will learn in future videos again you do you have the documentation here too you can start reading it uh, we have the l http 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 parsing is handled by a lightweight typescript that is pretty much javascript but more robust more secure and c library called ll http it is designed to not make any syscalls or allocations so it has a very small per request memory footprint again you have the documentation here uh, we are going we are in the documentation is in, is in github uh, we can close a little this um, one of those tabs here um, we have the C Aries um, the C Aries for some asynchronous DNS requests Node.js uses a C library called C Aries C Aries it is exposed through the DNS module in JavaScript as the resolve open parenthesis close parenthesis family of functions the lookup open parenthesis close parenthesis function which is what the rest of core uses makes use of threaded uh, get at r info open parenthesis three close parenthesis calls and libuf the reason for this is that c Aries supports slash etc slash hosts uh, comma space slash etc slash resolve that conf in slash etc slash svc dot conf but not things like mdns again you have the documentation here uh, open okay well, this is the documentation for series so you have all this documentation here you can check it out uh, we have open SSL open SSL is used extensively in both the TLS and crypto module modules it provides battle tested implementations of many cryptographic functions that the modern web relies on for security again you have the, the documentation here you can see you have a bunch of information um, the zlib for fast compression and decompression node.js relies on the industry standard zlib library also known for its use in uh, gzip and libpng node.js uses zlib to create sync async in a streaming compression and decompression interfaces and decompresses so you have here the the website also wow has a lot of information here as you can see you can read it you can go to this website you have the link here we also have the tools we have the npm that is very important you're going to be using a lot npm node.js is all about modularity and with that comes the need for a quality package manager for this purpose 
NPM was made. With NPM comes the largest selection of community created packages of any programming ecosystem, which makes building Node.js apps quick and easy. Again, you have the documentation here, uh, NPM docs, you have the getting started packages, modules, you have the jeep, the build system is handled by the jeep, a Python based project generator copied from V8. It can generate project files for use with build systems across many platforms. Node.js requires a build system because large parts of it and its dependencies are written in languages that require compila compilation. So, yeah, you have the documentation for the JIP2. Uh, GTest. Native code can be tested using GTest, which is taken from Chromium. It allows testing C slash C++ without needing an existing node executable to bootstrap from. And again, you have the documentation for the GTest too. So you can get it here. You can read it in GitHub.